Hi, I'm Mr. Lovin, and let's highlight John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller was born in 1839 in Richford, New York. He grew up with a strict religious background, and his belief in God would guide many of his actions throughout his life. Rockefeller graduated at age 16, when his father urged him to get into business rather than attend college. He started working as a bookkeeper for a produce company and eventually teamed up with an associate forming the company Clark and Rockefeller, handling grain, hay, and meats. He saw a potential gold mine in the oil industry and invested the profits from his company with six partners to found the Standard Oil Company. At the start, in 1870, Standard Oil handled about 10% of the market, while by 1879, it controlled 90% of the oil distribution across the United States. Rockefeller achieved this market domination through hard work, foresight, efficiency, and ruthless business tactics. He believed in the Protestant work ethic, so he was industrious and honest in his business dealings. He hated waste, and his refineries were examples of efficiency. In order to keep costs low, he wanted to own all the factors of production to eliminate competition. Between 1871 and 1879, he took control of most of the competing oil refineries in the market, creating a monopoly where he could control the price of oil. He began to enter into secret deals with railroads to transport his oil and not his competitors. Standard's grip on the industry tightened, and it even bought thousands of acres of forest for lumber and drilling and to block competitors from running their pipelines. He argued that monopolies ensured economic stability and high quality of goods. He was a strong proponent of social Darwinism, believing that the fittest people will naturally rise to the top of society, and those people were better suited to handle the nation's wealth. Monopolistic behavior was not kindly regarded, and Standard soon became the epitome of a company grown too big and too dominant for the public good. Congress jumped into the fray with both feet in 1890 with the Sherman Antitrust Act. And two years later, when the Ohio Supreme Court deemed Standard Oil a monopoly, which stood in violation of Ohio law. Always eager to be a step ahead, Rockefeller dissolved the corporation and allowed each property under the Standard banner to be run by others. The overall hierarchy remained chiefly in place, and Standard's board maintained control of the web of spun off companies. Rockefeller essentially had the personality of a robot. He seemed to care very little about others but his religious background taught him that people should be charitable. In his early years, he tied the standard 10% to charity, and as his wealth increased, so did his charity. In 1897, he retired from Standard Oil and donated millions to charitable organizations, churches, libraries, medical research, and universities. Overall, he gave away over $550 million. The Rockefeller name is still a powerful name in this country and his ancestors have gone on to lead successful political lives. On the bottom of the screen, we have given you the definition of the terms robber baron and captain of industry. Placing these men in one of these categories is extremely difficult. In the comments below, let us know if you think Rockefeller was a captain of industry or a robber baron, and tell us why. Thank you so much for watching. That's John D. Rockefeller, and this has been your History Highlight.